There's beatings. Violent crimes Stabbing. committed by youth inflicted by a brutal beating Birth last June by a pack of 15 young offenders the country. And it's fueled by anger. I spill onto this paper, my decaying mind, once pure, institutionalized, tormented, objectified, caged up and observed, creates the beast, emptiness, rotting, blank. In the beginning it would be one, and then one or two, and then uh, we'd do a store or something, you know, like, where we knew there was goods. But some days, I didn't feel like doing it. But the boys wanted to do it, so I'd do it because the boys wanted to do it, you know? Because I didn't want to look like, uh, you know, I wasn't on top of my game like I was going soft. I didn't want to look soft, you know? There is peer pressure, you know? There is teens out there being pressured by kids to do that or whatever. Probably they're not getting loved at home, and that person that is pressuring them is giving them love, is giving them support or whatever they need. So they're going to listen to them. It's trying to always fit in, so that's like mainly the thing you try to like, peer pressure and certain stuff like that will push you to do those things because you want to fit in so bad. And a lot of people that have low self-esteem, they'll do anything to fit in. That's the thing. That's the backfall of a lot of teens. I slept outside, slept in parks, uh, benches, wherever I could find, squats. Um, I, I started using drugs around that time. You're out there and if you're stripping or whatever, there's no way anybody can do it with no drugs in their system, it's too hurtful. You degrade yourself and you know it no matter what age you are, so you gotta find something to numb your feelings. And you find the drugs, whatever they are. Sometimes you're too young to get an apartment and you're just, you're stuck, because if you go home, you're gonna get beat down like by your parents or you're gonna get molested or something. And the safest place for you to be is on the street. It's safer out there with all those crazy people than to actually go home. If it's been bad from the beginning, then it'll start to show itself in when you're teen years, you know, especially around crime and getting into more and more types of crime. Um, it all depends on that foundation for sure. Yeah, one night we were driving by a house and um, looking for money. And there was no lights on, no cars. One of my friends went up and knocked on the door. Nobody answered the door, so we went around and uh, the window was open in the back, just beside the sliding door by the kitchen. One guy climbed in and unlocked the door for the rest of us. we were taking, uh, the people came home. <laughs> and uh, I ran and hid under his bed. And the other two guys uh, ran out the back door. And uh, I was scared. I was so scared. I, it, was, uh, it was an unbelievable feeling. I was just under the bed, and I was stiff as a board, and uh, he came upstairs, and uh, as soon as I heard that bathroom door close, I flew down the stairs and flew out the door. 